In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can stop caring about what people think so you can live your best life and be unapologetically your true self. Today, we got three steps for you to take to start being your real, true, authentic self and not care about what anybody thinks. So the first concept we're going to talk about is polarity. Understanding that being your authentic self is going to attract the people that is meant for you and going to repel the people that it's not. A lot of the times we're afraid what people think about us because the meaning that we give to that. For example, if this crowd doesn't like me, then that means I'm unworthy or I'm not deserving or I'm less than, right? But if you really think about it, the people that we want to like us or that we care about if they like us or not, we don't even like them. Do you really enjoy being around them? Is that really your crowd? Because if you have to change who you truly are just to fit in the space, then that space is not meant for you. Another thing that really helped me with this is understanding that everybody doesn't have to like you. Like, it's absolutely okay. You don't necessarily resonate with everybody on the planet. If we was all the same, that would be just so booty just remember that you are safe everything is okay even if this certain crowd doesn't like you then that means that certain crowd is not meant for you never or i'm not gonna say never because i did this too but try not to change yourself to fit other people's standards or to make other people comfortable around you because you're saying yes to them and no to yourself. The second thing that you want to do is address your shadow. You want to address the core beliefs that you have about yourself and what meaning that you're given to that. A journal prompt that really helped me with this was what are you afraid of and why? what are you deep down secretly afraid of and why for me it was i was afraid of being rejected if i started to be my authentic self i was afraid that i was not going to be lovable if people seen the real me and why do you feel that way well because i don't fit in i'm not like a lot of people around me so i thought that me being weird and being different meant that i was unlovable which is not true so when you ask yourself these questions like that you you and get it down on paper it really helps you to see how false it is so once you get your core beliefs a couple core beliefs down you want to rewrite those you want to rewrite the opposite and you want to sit in that truth honestly not just write it down on your wall and repeat it every day i am lovable if you don't believe it no understand it not just believe it but understand that that belief that you have about yourself is false address your shadows because a lot of these beliefs were formed from some type of childhood experience as a child you might have had experience where you opened up and you showed your authentic self and that part of you you felt like was rejected or wasn't loved and then you keep that in your subconscious until you're an adult and then it causes us to do things like change our personality around certain people because we're afraid that they're not going to accept the real us right and if they don't accept the real us again like i said in the first tip that is absolutely okay addressing your shadow and getting down to these core beliefs and why you believe them is really really going to help you with the last step and that is going to be to give yourself approval give yourself the permission to be yourself once you start addressing your shadows and doing journaling and spending more time with yourself you will begin to like yourself bro once you start really indulging and acknowledging the things that you really truly love and expressing yourself authentically even if it's not in front of people you'll start to fall in love with yourself and fall in love with the things that you like the things that you value everything about you and then it'd be so easy to give yourself that permission give yourself that validation to go ahead and express yourself freely because you like yourself now you don't really need anybody to like you you don't care if anybody dislikes you because you like yourself and you're living in your own little world nobody can take something that they did not give you right so if we look for validation from 
outside of ourselves from groups of people that we want to like us right they could take away that validation at any time and that's what we fear and we fear if they take away that validation then we're not worthy which is not true but once you start to spend more time with yourself you start adjusting your shadow and you start liking yourself all of that is not going to matter and this is something that i wish i would have understood sooner hence why i'm making this video so i'm going to end off this video by reminding you that your authentic self is so beautiful god made you the way that you are and it, i mean if you want to say god universe whatever your guys you are the way that you are on this earth for a reason nobody is you nobody does the things that you do the way that you do them nobody dresses like you nobody wears their hair like you nobody has the same values and beliefs and everything combined that makes you you is so beautiful i really think i really truly believe that like when i look at other people being their self is so inspiring to me and it's so beautiful to me because we all have gifts we all have talents we all have strengths weaknesses like just individuality to me is just so beautiful and it's crazy how i see that beauty in others but for a long time i didn't even see it in myself because i had these negative core beliefs in my subconscious that you know i wasn't lovable because i'm weird but going back to the first tip talking about polarity weirdos need weirdos weirdos need other weirdos the world needs you to be exactly who you are if you fit in if you don't fit in it doesn't matter who you are you serve so much purpose on this earth so much value every day that you wake up and you just be you you just bring so much to the world just by being you so do not be afraid to really express yourself because that individuality like i said everything that makes up who you are is what makes you so fucking beautiful like you are so unique and i really adore that i admire that so who child keep being you and I'm getting so anxious. Leave me on 11 night. No, okay. I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you want to see in the comments. Oh, yeah. And I have a P.O. box, y'all. I don't know why I never told you guys this, but I have a P.O. box now. So if you want to, I've been had it for months, a long time. But like I told y'all, I don't be feeling like a creator. So I'd be forgetting to say shit like this. But. If you want to send me anything to my P.O. box, I'll put it on the screen and it'll be down in the description. So if you do send me like a letter or something, let me know if you don't want it read online on YouTube or on Instagram. Because whatever people send me, I do intend to put online. So if you do send me something and you don't want it to be online, make sure you let me know that. And oh child i'm so anxious thank you guys so much for watching i love y'all and i will see you in the next video <laughs>